Hi, my name is Nirmala Sundarappa. I'm a product manager for Oracle JDBC and UCP. This is the episode 2 of getting started with Oracle JDBC and Oracle database. In this video, I will go through accessing Oracle Autonomous Database using TLS and Mutual TLS. It's also known as one-way SSL and two-way SSL. Let's begin with the prerequisites. First step is to sign into your Oracle Cloud account. If you don't have one, then you can create a new free tier trial account from oracle.com slash cloud slash free. Next step is to create an autonomous database. Step three is to verify if you are able to connect to the autonomous database using SQL Developer Web. Once you are logged in, you can do select user from dual, which will print the database user logged in. Let's see this in action. I have logged into my Oracle Cloud account. Click on the hamburger menu on the left hand side and choose Oracle database and select autonomous database. Here, click on create autonomous database. Choose a name for your database. Choose a workload type and the database version is 19C. Provide a password for the admin user. And here, the network access, leave it as is. This will enable mutual TLS authentication. Click on Create Autonomous Database. Uh, this will take few seconds for the database to create. Once the database is available, click on Database Actions. Log in with your admin user. Click on SQL. You can do Select User from Dual which will print admin as the user. Alternatively, you can pull few records from the table sh.customers. You can see the result here. Next, we will see how to use Java program to access autonomous transaction processing. I'm using IntelliJ IDE for creating a Java project to connect to autonomous database. Create a new Maven project using the Maven archetype and make sure to use JDK 8 update 162 or higher. Update the POM file, which will actually pull the latest JDBC driver along with the other jars that are required to connect to autonomous database. Download the wallets from the Oracle Cloud Console. Copy the sample code adbquickstart.java from GitHub. Update the database URL pointing to your autonomous database. And build and run the sample. Let's see this demo. Let's create a new Maven project. Choose the name for the project. Make sure the JDK version is JDK 8 update 162 or higher and choose the archetype and create. Once the project is created, open the POM file and add JDBC driver as a dependency. Go to Maven Central Guide and copy this dependency and paste it in your POM file. You can change the version to the latest 21.5. Next step is to download the wallets to connect to autonomous database. Go to the database that you have created and click on DB connection. Download the wallets. And you need to enter a password for downloading the wallets. Next step is to copy the code sample and compile and run. Go to GitHub and copy adbquickstart.java to your source directory. After you copy the code sample, update the database URL to point to the autonomous database that you have created. The alias should point to your database and TNS admin should point to the location where you have downloaded the wallet credentials. The user is the admin and you will provide the password on the console. Now build and run the sample. You can see that we have successfully connected to the autonomous database and able to query the table. Let's see how to enable TLS on autonomous database. When Mutual TLS is enabled, you will see ACL as disabled and MTLS authentication as required. To enable TLS, we need to add ACL. You can add as many IP address as you want. Uncheck the requirements for Mutual TLS. After that, both TLS and Mutual TLS are allowed. Copy the connection URL related to TLS from the DB connection tab and paste it in your code sample. Let's see the demo. From your database, go to the network settings and add the IP address from where you are want to connect to autonomous database. You can add as many IP address that, as you want. 
uncheck the mtls requirement go to db connection from the drop down choose tls and copy the connection string and paste it in your code sample after you copy the tls string paste it in your code sample and then compile and run the code you can see that we have successfully connected to the autonomous database using tls thank you for watching the video